and welcome back ladies and gentlemen. This is a travesty playing some Neverwinter Nights 2 using the Risen Hero mod. Okay, so we just finished dealing with these zombies down here in this cave that was right back here. It had a secret passage to a uh, zombie stronghold. We took care of them and made it out of there. So we're going to continue on to the next cave in the list here. We were in this one already. That was the uh, the bear and the next one is right over here so we're gonna go check this one next and then I think after that is this one right here and I think that's the last one that one there in the center but let's check this one out now see you inside hmm looks like us just one chamber here yep dead-end cave Yep. alright let's go see what we got laying here Forgotten chest. Hmm. Bunch of healers kits, some potions. Oh, this gear's a bit much. And for me. we'll grab the arrows and the rest of that stuff. I think we'll leave. And we have a journal. This journal is covered in dust and grime. It had been a long while since it was written or read. Read the journal. One tragedy after another. We were two dozen strong when we left on this grand adventure. This valley was nothing but trouble, and I don't know how we are to leave. The worst is our dreams every night. They are plagued with horrible nightmares. When we first found this valley, Gregor, my brother, and second in command of our group, took a party to search the southern caves while I went north. I have been waiting for him now for days, but I fear he is lost. The first cave that we searched was filled with monstrous spiders. Poor Sammy was bitten on the arm before we could escape. We tried to save him. We sawed his arm off at the shoulder, but it was too late. He died that night convulsing and drowning in his own blood. Hmm, that was a cave we were in already. I sent Bach and Terlane into the center cave, and those two never returned. We tried to enter the cave, but a horrible laughter drove us away every time. Hmm, that's the cave we haven't been in yet, the one in the center. Carter was mauled to death by a bear. Then, when we tried to retrieve his body, Sanchel was killed. Yep, we were in that cave already. In an attempt to leave the valley, Victor tried to scale down a small cliff to the river, but fell to his death. Hmm, that must be where the tree is. There's like a fallen tree over there. Having lost most of our numbers, we have set up camp in a small cave. The rocks seem to rumble and moan at our very presence. Tomorrow, we will leave this valley forever. The journal ends there and says nothing of the next morning or their escape from the valley. Leave the journal. Hmm. And we have an area map. This map has several notes about the surrounding area. You mark them on your map. Hmm. Map of the valley. Okay. Well, what is this? Crush bones. This pile of bones appears to have once been humanoid. They have been crushed flat by what appears to be one single blow. Oh, really? Hmm. Okay. Okay, let's go through some of this gear here. Pass off some of this stuff. Oh, oh. Ah, damn it. Didn't want to do that. Okay. Let's take a closer look in here. Anything else in here? Not seeing much else. What's that? There are some marks here on the ground. It looks like something large was dragged through this area. I don't know about that. Look, there are other breaks in between the marks. Whatever made those marks was heavy, but it wasn't dragged. So, you think there's some monstrous footprints then? Something that size couldn't fit in a cave like this. I don't know, Alistra. Valen may be right. These really don't look like drag marks. Hmm. Influence gain with Valen. Well, maybe. Something definitely isn't right. Let's keep moving. Let's look around and see what we can find. Hmm. And the relationship change, too. Yeah, it looks like there is some marks right here. Claw marks. Is there a secret door over here or something? Hmm. 
don't see anything else. You know, something that I forgot about was we should talk to Valen. Now that we got an influence gain with him, let's see if he says anything about that werewolf cave. I forgot to talk to him about that. What was that werewolf talking about with you and Mathard? It's a long story. I don't know if it would be the best time, really. Sounds like any time wouldn't be a good time, but it is something we need to talk about. You are right. This does need to be discussed. Well, here it is. She knows of Mathard because she turned him into a werewolf. He rejected her love and her bloodlust. He swore he would never be a creature feasting on the weak. In her rage, she nearly killed him and left him for dead. Hmm. In that state, Saloon came to him and mended his body. She told him of another like him. She taught him to make rings that would allow younger werewolves to control their shape-changing ability and curve the wolves' hunger. Mathard then searched the land for others like him. The first he found was Petnam, a kind old man. He secretly followed his old nomadic tribe using his abilities to protect them. Together the two gathered many werewolves together. They all refused to become the creatures of evil that the tales made them out to be. Scouring the land, they would destroy all the evil lycanthropes to prevent the spreading of the curse, always keeping their abilities secret. Mathard's pack continued to grow, and we were eventually known as his hunters. Valen, you're a werewolf too, aren't you? Yes, I am. I was turned on my seventh year. I grew up in an isolated farmland. The creature that turned me killed my family and left me. I spent weeks living in the woods around my home, fighting this new inner demon. Mathard found me and gave me this ring. He taught me that I was not an evil creature and how to control it. What abilities do you have as a werewolf? Very little while I wear this ring. Ah, so that's what that mysterious ring is that he's wearing. What does that ring do? It carries a blessing of Saloon, and it allows one to learn how to control the wolf's desires by repressing much of the werewolf's ability. As one grows in strength, the ring allows more and more abilities to affect the wearing until they have full control. What powers do you still have with the ring on? I have very little powers compared to most werewolves that you might meet. I currently cannot change forms. The most relevant abilities that I have is a wolf's vision in the dark, and my sense of smell is strong enough to find and track animals in the wild. Valen has gained the following abilities, plus two wisdom, plus one natural armor, and also gained some feats, scent, low light vision, and iron will. Nice! Hmm. Alright. Let's keep moving. Okay, All so in. let's take a look at him. Okay. Yeah, his wisdom is now 14. Yeah, this is that ring. Valen's ring. I was wondering what this was. Yeah, now he gets iron will, low light vision, scent, natural armor, and plus two wisdom. Can we remove it? No. Nope, cannot remove it. So apparently that ring will give him... Well, as he levels up, he'll probably gain more powers and stuff, so... Let's take a look at these feats that he's got here. Yeah, now he's got Iron Will, which gives him a plus two bonus to will saves. And then he's got low light vision now. And he's got Scent. Scent allows one to detect approaching enemies, sniff out hidden foes, and track by sense of smell. This allows the user to track hidden and invisible targets when using the track ability. Hmm. And he's got natural armor bonus plus one. Hmm. All right. So that explains why he was all leery in that wolf cave. Follow my lead. All right. So. Hmm. I don't know what's up with this. This cavern, but it doesn't appear there's anything else in here. Yeah. Okay. Let's get out of here. Okay, so, back outside. Let's take a look at a map now. We should have some map pin updates. Yep, there is. This is a cave where Bach and Terlane disappeared. That's the center cave we haven't been in yet. Victor fell to his death here. Okay, that's where that fallen tree is. 
Gregor and his party disappeared around here. Yeah, we were in there already. That was the evil crypt. This is where Sammy was killed. That's the spider cave. And Carter mauled by a bear here. Yeah, we were in that cave already. Okay, so let's go to this area here, this cave where Bach and Terlane disappeared. That's the center cave we have not been in yet. Where is it? Right here. And then we should probably go over there and take a closer look at that dead tree. That's where the guy supposedly fell off the cliff. Alright, let's go in here next. Hmm. Mysterious cave. With some laughing. And we have a dead adventurer. This is a long decomposed body of an unlucky adventurer. Yep, that's probably a couple of the guys that were missing. And here's another dead adventurer. With a sword in his back, this adventurer died here many years ago. Hmm. And another dead adventurer. This adventurer fell here. It appears as if he were trying to escape from this cave. Hmm. And another one. This adventurer is definitely dead and not coming back. Okay, so, looks like it goes into one chamber. There is something very powerful living down here. And it will already know of our trespass. Are some more of your friends down here? She is right. These caves are most unnatural. We should not be here. I agree. Let us move forward with caution. Okay. And autosave. Uh oh. Something bad's gonna happen here. Oh, look at this. What is that? A hag. She's neutral to us. The ancient gate breaks through several layers of rust as it opens. Before you is a dark room smelling of rotting flesh. You slowly walk into the room as your eyes adjust to the dark. You see the horror that is around you. Oh wow man, there's heads on plates and... It's like a burning body there. Before you stands a cackling creature. Her face is twisted and dark evil eyes stare out at you. My, my. What a pretty little thing you are. You did take your time, though. I expected you much sooner. You do realize there is a fine maiden in much danger. And we got a lore option here. Foul oh, hag, what tricks are you up to? Tricks? There are no tricks here. You see my appearance and assume that I mean you harm. What are you talking about? What maiden? Your dream, young hero. You had a quest to save that beautiful maiden, yes? What do you know of this dream? I know it all, child. It was I who was there talking to you. Now you will help me. You're a hideous beast. There was a woman in my dreams, not this foul creature that stands before me. There's a flash of light around the hag. You must help me, adventurer. I am trapped here in these caverns. You must bring my blood back to this hag. There's another flash of light, and then the hag is once again standing in front of you. Hmm. <laughs> it was her who caused that. Why do you want me to do this? Too many questions into the affairs of others is usually not a good idea. Especially for one as insignificant as you. Imagine the endless years of torment I could give you through your dreams. In the end, you would gouge your eyes out and pray for your own death. I would kill you before I prayed for my death. Again, the hag changes her appearance. I will tear you limb from limb and feast on your marrow if you dare to challenge me. Your powers are nothing compared to mine. There is yet another flash and the hag has returned to her former self. This conversation is done, Moon Elf. Return to me once you find this woman and bring me her blood. If you wander too far, I will know. Your mind will easily be destroyed in your dreams if you try to escape. What is the meaning of this? 
You have no choice. Leave here now. Your body wretches as some domination spell forces you to walk out of the hag's room. The gate swings closed behind you and locks into place. You doubt that it will open until you have this maiden or her blood. We were lucky to get out of there alive. Whoever this maiden is, she must have some great powers to have attracted the attention of this hag. Agreed. We must find this woman and then decide how do we will deal with this hag. Hmm. Journal update. In a cavernous waste, you have found an evil hag. She was the one in your dreams. There is, however, a woman trapped here in one of the caverns. The hag has charged you to find her and bring her blood back to her cave. You will be unable to return to the river reaching until you deal with this situation. How you solve this problem is up to you. But first, you must find this woman. Hmm, hmm. Yeah, we won't be able to get back in there, it looks like. Let's get out of here. Okay, so we've been everywhere except back over by this fallen tree. And if I remember right, there was a cave entrance down there. Maybe there is something new over here that we found that map. Let's check this tree again. This is an old dead tree. Down the cliff you can see another cave opening. Yep, now it's new. This is all new here. Try to climb down the cliff. You are easily able to climb down the cliff. You are standing at the bottom of the cliff. Explore the cave. Okay, so now... Yeah, we're down here. There's a the cave entrance. Oh yeah, there is that body. That journal was talking about a guy fell off the cliff. That's apparently his body right there. I don't appear to see anything there, though, as far as stuff we can pick up. Let's take a quick look around down here. Anything over here? Nope. Nothing in the water. Alright, I guess we have no choice but to go in the cave. Let's go in! The ceiling collapses, blocking the exit. Hmm. The cave ceiling has collapsed, trapping you here. Another exit we will need to find. Who's this? A child. Okay, let's take a look at this child here. Oh, you can rest here. Safe resting area. Let's talk to the child. Before you stands a human child. She smiles at your approach, yet there is something uneasy in her appearance. A bright light fills the corner of the cave, yet there are no openings to the outside. Plants and flowers grow bountifully in the sandy cave floor, despite the lack of soil, while hundreds of butterflies circle around her. The child's face hardens as she sees Jezebel. She stands there waiting. My dear child, you listen to too many stories. Your prejudices of the inhabitants of the lower plains are tiresome. I have no ill will toward you, at least not yet. What are you doing here, girl? What am I doing here? Where are your manners, sir? But you are a child. What are you doing alone? I am not a mere child. I am over a thousand years old. An eternal child who is destined to become a champion and protector of your mortal children. But I have become lost and trapped. Ahead is a mage who will not allow me to pass. How am I to confront a greater evil when I cannot pass a simple mage? What is this evil that you must confront? I was sent from my home to confront a creature that preys on innocent children. I must prove my power and dedication before I can become a champion. You must mean the hag. She is searching for you as well. So you know of this creature? She haunts my dreams and has sent me to find you while threatening my life. This does not bode well. So will you kill me then? 
No, I will not. Though it may cost me my life, I will protect you from her child. Then I will join with you so that we may stop this hag and the evil she wishes to spread. Follow me and be careful. All right. Okay, so it looks like she's just a henchman. We can't control her. Okay. Let's see, does she say anything else? We must find this hag so that we may complete my task. Okay, this might be a good spot for quick save.